Today we're going to discuss how to bring SQL Server data into a SSRS project or a SQL Server reporting solution project. As you can see right here, we are looking at our new project screen and we have two different options. We have a report server project wizard and a report server project. One of the great things about Microsoft is that it walks you through many of the steps that you'll need to take on a regular basis. So we're just going to go ahead and choose the wizard. As you can see down here, we have a location. We can name a new solution. We can give the solution name. So we're going to go ahead and make this SQL Server AdventureWorks. And you can see our solution name creates it. And we'll call this, uh, we'll just create a new solution under here. Click OK. So now that you can see we, our report wizard comes up, and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to name our data source uh, AdventureWorks. And we're going to create a Microsoft SQL Server connection. And we'll go ahead and edit our connection string. We'll choose our server name from our drop down list. And we'll choose Andrew PC from our server name. We'll choose to use Windows Authentication. You can also use SQL Server Authentication. And then we'll select our database name, which will take just a minute to load here. And we'll choose our AdventureWorks 2012 and click a test connection just to make sure everything is working correctly and click OK. We'll hit Next. And now you have a couple of different options. You can copy and paste a query string that you've already generated, or can you use the query builder or query designer that comes with SSRS. And again, you have another different options. You can either import one or edit as text, or we can go ahead and add our tables manually. So for this case, we're going to go ahead and choose our views here. And we will choose our salesperson. And then we'll click Add. And as you can see, it shows up very nicely inside our window. And then we'll come to our table and we will choose our product order history, our header there. Add that as well. And close out of this. Now what you can do is very nicely map our joins together. As you can see here, we don't have a join. So we can either force a join or we can simply go back in and remove one of our tables by right clicking on it and removing it and just bringing one object in. You can then do all columns or some of our columns. Right? And can you see that? Or you can simply add in a certain number here. And we'll go ahead and do ship date and subtotal, total due, freight, and tax amount. And as you can see, it builds the SQL statement for you along. You can also choose to add a new column, either from your list, and change from a different table. You can also decide what to sort on, what to filter on, anything like that. We're just going to take this basic query right here, click OK. As you can see here, it builds our amount. Go into Next, and we'll choose a number of different things. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose Matrix. You can also choose a straight tabular report. And now we have a number of different options. We can show what we want to show. On our, pa on our page, this is what we're going to be first grouping our data by. In that case, we're going to go ahead and choose our vendor ID and then you can choose your columns we're going to choose our uh, ship date and then our rows we're going to go ahead and choose our employee ID and then our detail section we're going to choose all four of our items here and if we're not happy with the order what we can simply do is choose our up and down arrow to kind of order them in the way that we would like. And go ahead and click Next here. And you can choose a number of different themes that comes with SSRS. We're going to choose Bold here. Hit Next. 
Where should we put it? If we're going to deploy it to a server, you fill that information here. And then now it's just going to give you a short little synopsis of what SSRS is going to do. We'll go ahead and click finish. And as you can see here, our design with our vendor ID, our ship date, and our employee date here, and then the number of different amounts here. And then we can come to preview right here and preview our results. Okay. As you can see right here, by our employees, different amounts, by different dates, by different vendor IDs, and you can simply page through to the number of different things.